Welcome back everybody. Today we got in some new the incision 90 millimeter scale shocks. Let's shoot up that's the part number there. They list for $49.99 a pair. Come with everything you need. They come with two shocks. Of course they have metal pillow balls in the bottom, which is nice. A locking adjuster. So it has this the adjuster here that the spring sits on the perch itself. Then the locking piece goes all the way up and down to match the bottom adjusting perch. Let me get it all the way back up here. I'll show you another cool feature. The other cool thing is, is I know this isn't new. They brought this on the new Honcho 2 SEX 10 2 this this go around. But there's a locking spring cup at the bottom. Um, I've been bitten by that. I've been out trailing and lose the bottom cup and been lucky enough to find it. But boy, it sure is rough whenever it is, whenever you do lose it. So, and it does come with a supplied screw, which is good because most, I don't think the honcho comes with them. So you have to add it yourself. And it is a two mil screw, two mil head screw, excuse me, not a two mil. It looks to be a three mil size. Let's put it up against three mil and see. No, nope, it's two and a half, so that's fine. Not a big deal. Plenty of those around. Let's take this off and see. Yep, take it off. So you got a normal little. So that's new. Something special that's not not a normal kind of rod end. Um, it does come, however, with normal rod ends and a normal perch. Um, if you decide to change over. Uh, it looks like it comes with the top plastic pillow balls that go into the aluminum part of this. Um, I wish they would put metal in there. That's not really a good thing, but it does come with some adjusters for the inside. These are six hole. I'm not quite sure what's on the inside now. Uh, those are, These look like little spacers. They're different sizes. They probably go inside of the canister itself, inside of here. Um, let me try and do that. I'll take that out real quick. Maybe we can look at it and see what's on the inside of them. Um, take the spring off here. Set it there. So let's take. Uh, we don't necessarily have to take the top cap off. We can take this bottom cap off here. So there's that there. Let's see inside there. Try not to move the camera. Okay. Tighten that back up there. Ooh, that joker is some kind of tight. Let me grab, hang on one second, let me grab a rag. Let's see if we can. There it goes. Sorry about that, I was outside the camera. So, popped it loose. Got a little bit of plastic there. So, Okay, so the inside of it is a six hole also. Um, probably pretty normal as far as how the inside of it's built. So it looks like they want you to take the rod end off, which I'm not gonna do. These are a person's shocks. Um, I got two sets in and sadly I've already sold both sh both sets before I filmed this video. <laughs> so uh, the guy gave me permission to take these apart. So or at least take them out of the package so I could show everybody what they look like anyway. So, got that there. Simple to put back together. Nothing to them, really and truly. Maybe it is a little bit tough to put back together. There, I'll get it anyway. Anyway, so, I will have more of these as soon as they come back in stock from my supplier. They are out at the moment. Uh, I'll have more soon, so just be on the lookout. And just to let you know, we did get some we get some reef servos in so we'll show you some of these too this is the reef triple four it is one bad boy it's got 444 ounces at 7.4 volts which is perfect when you pair it with the hobby wing 1080 which puts a 7.4 volt internal bec and so i've got them all in stock so if you need anything just let me know but and we'll see you next time